Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Cully, and I'm a Taurus Sun and Venus. And before we get started today, I do want to let y'all know that the special for November is half off pendulum readings. So I do offer a three question pendulum reading where we use the pendulum to get yes or no answers and we follow up with some tarot cards. So those are going to be half off for the month of November. So don't forget to book yours. There will be a little lotus flower icon here that will take you directly to my booking page. It's also in the link in the description box below. Book your pendulum readings. Uh, those are recorded just like these, only it's a private link only you and I can see. And um, when you book that, just know that you will not see the half off until after you book because I send you a separate invoice for that. So pendulum readings are half off all through November. So that's our special. Let's jump into this reading here. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy, please? What is the overall energy? Show us clearly what is the overall energy for this reading, please. Show us clearly what is the overall energy. Show us clearly, please. What is the overall energy? Show us clearly. Divine Source Creator, show us clearly, please. Ooh, that is too many. Too many, too many, too many. Can we just have one or two, please? One or two. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy, please? Show us clearly. Thank you. Ooh, spirit guides. I love it. Okay, so we talk about this on this channel all the time, but for those of you who are new, thank you and welcome. I do want to say it is so important that every day, at some point in your day, you ask your spirit guides, your spiritual team, to show you the way. Okay, it's show me the way. I do it every day with my coffee, right? And I say, spiritual team, show me the way today. Now, it can be very specific. Show me the way to love. Show me the way to the new career. Show me the way to my dream house. Or it can be just in general. But they are speaking with you. And I think more and more of you are getting in tuned, seeing the signs, the symbols, connecting the dots. A lot of times when they're guiding us to something, we don't even realize it until after it's happened and we can go back and connect the dots. Oh, that was my spiritual team. It could be that you are meeting a person that is gonna guide you to that great new career. It could be um, you get an unexpected text message. I mean, they talk to us in very different ways, more than we can imagine. Overhearing a conversation, coming to these readings, getting a personal reading done, right? Which I will say, although we're doing the half off the pendulum readings, my most popular reading is what does spirit want me to know? That is your team coming in to talk to you directly. So just keep your eyes, ears, senses open because I get the, I get the six of swords in my mind's eye. They are literally guiding you to something bigger and better. You just have to be willing to listen and when I say, listen, I don't mean just with your ears, right? Show me clearly. What is the message, please? For Taurus, angels, guides, ancestors. What is the message here? Show us clearly. What is the message? Ooh, all right. I love it. The two of scepters, the two of wands. This energy is you're being given the Ace of Wands, okay? I know it's not the Ace of Wands, but you're being given the Ace of Wands. You're being led like through a dark cave with that wand. Now, the thing is here is even though it's the Two of Wands, this does feel like the Ace of Wands to me, and it's your decision to move forward with it or not. Are you going to follow the light in the tunnel, right? And the answer should be yes. <laughs> the answer should be yes. There's a decision to be made. Um, and this is where free will comes in, right? We have free will. So our teams can talk to us and show us and guide us and we can say no to that. But I would tell you whatever this is, do not say no. Show me clearly. What is the message, please, for Taurus? It's too many. 
Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? Show me clearly. No, that's about five cards. Boy, it's really hard to tell sometimes. Let's try that one more time here. Show me clearly, please. What is the message for Taurus? There we go. We'll take two. Two is good. Oh, the Emperor. The Emperor, I love it. The Emperor's been coming out quite a bit, and you've got um, the Four of Scepters with it. So that's the Four of Wands. So this is you taking the torch, okay? Taking the torch from your spirit guides and saying, yes, I'm going to go through this cave. I'm going to get on the other side of it. I am going to be brave. I am going to take control, and I'm going to lead, right? I'm going to lead. It's like the handing of the baton. It's like it's your turn to lead your own life here with passion and excitement because this is all fire energy, right? The wands, the emperor, more wands, that's all fire energy. That is taking action. That's having passion. Um, and I love the four of wands here too because it is that sense of victory. It is celebration. It is the 11-11 card, which is the portal jumping, right? We're changing um, realms. All eyes are upon you to take the lead here. I love it. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus? Thank you. So look at that. The devil. I love it. So here's the thing. A lot of people freak out with the devil card. I don't. I love the devil card. One, it is the card of Capricorn, which is that drive to succeed, the passion and the drive to succeed. Okay? It's getting things done. It's also, the devil is usually what's within us, what's holding us back. Fear, right? Um, lack of confidence. It's usually not an outside source. It's from within. And I feel like you're shedding that part of you that would normally, Taurus, be like, almost like you're undeserving and realizing you're actually very deserving. I'm loving that. And the drive and the fearlessness to go forward, right? Into that cave. Show me clearly. Show me clearly for Taurus, please. Thank you. Wow. This is the Knight of Cups here. There is an offer on the other side of this cave. There's an offer on the other side of this cave, whether it be an offer of love, whether it be an offer for a new job, um, whatever it is for you, it's going to be different for all of you because there's so many and it's a general reading, but there's an offer waiting, but you have to go through the cave. You've got to go through the cave. They're trying to get you to come in, right? Come in. It's really wonderful on the other side. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus, please? Thank you. Look at that. Look at the Wheel of Fortune here. This is a destined moment. This is where you're supposed to go. This is the direction you're supposed to go into. There's light at the end of this cave, right? But you have to be fearless and go through the cave to get to the other side. They are guiding you, okay? I mean, this is very, obviously, it's Wheel of Fortune. It's very good, meaning it's a fortune of love, a fortune of money, a fortune of the job, right? It's, it's, it's destined for you to take this path. You know, put that work in with the Eight of Schools, which is the Eight of Pentacles. Put that work in. <coughs> so sorry. I just got a little bit of this congestion left. But honestly, you're destined to go through this cave because on the other side is just a whole new realm for you. Show us clearly, please. What is the message? This could be taking a class, right? A lot of us are fearful of taking classes because we don't want to look silly, right, in the beginning of it. No, we're here to learn. This could be, again, so many different things because there's just so many of you. Show me clearly. What is the message for Taurus, please? What is the message for Taurus? Show us clearly. Thank you. Yep, follow the light, my friends. Follow the light. A1. Three rays of light. Balancing male and female energies, peace and harmony. There is peace and harmony and opportunity 
that you have to go after. Okay, you got to go through the cave. Take the take the wand, right? Take that light and and trust your spiritual team because there's something glorious on the other side. I absolutely love this. So with that being said, Taurus, don't forget to like, share, and comment. I read each and every one. Subscribe if you haven't. Book your yes or no pendulum reading. It's a three questions that you get. They must be yes or no. Book that here. And all of my love, light, and blessings to you until next time.